Hello Blazers, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, doing today? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be reacting to how Russian propaganda right now is attacking Russians who left Russia at the start of the uh, special military operation. Or maybe should I say, welcome to another video in which I'm gonna be reacting to videos that have been already reacted to and discussed by everybody on the Russian internet for like the past three months, and I'm only getting to it now, but you guys, Westerners, don't know shit about it, so you think I'm bringing the hottest content ever. <laughs> but anyway, if you follow my channel and if you follow the news you might know that after the start of the conflict between russia and ukraine a lot of people left russia and even more people left after the mobilization started you've probably seen those shots of russians standing in line at the border with georgia and kazakhstan and other countries trying to get in and leave russia obviously this huge exodus of people is a bit of a problem for russia and russia wants to do the most to stop people from leaving and that is why russian propaganda right now is trying very hard to not only convince people not to leave but also to paint the people who have left as traitors terrible people yeah Yada, yada, yada. I mean, for example, let's just quote Vitaly Milonov, a deputy of the Russian state Zuma, who's known for his, you know, outlandish takes and statements. But this is what he had to say about people who left Russia. Most of the people who left Russia have to be officially declared as active homosexuals. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> I understand that the rhetoric is terrible, especially in the midst of Russia passing a law banning gay propaganda and climbing down hard on LGBT rights, but this is just fucking funny. Like, I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> My guy is projecting so hard. It's like, it's crazy. I believe we should have a certain final term for the people who left Russia after the start of the special operation. I would just call them a homophobic slur that starts with a letter F, and the women that left, I would just describe as prostitutes. So, uh, what can I say? Incredible. Now, I actually already kind of reacted to one of these videos that I meant to stop people from moving from Russia. I made this video called Russia's New Anti-American Propaganda is Wild, in which I reacted to this video in which a couple from Russia is like on a plane to America. And it's basically like a propaganda piece that is meant to show that America is like a less free country than Russia, you know, because you have to kneel down in front of black people. Prestitutes, sir. Прошу вас. It's just complete right-wing gobbledygook, you know? Absolute malarkey, that's all I gotta say here. And in the video, the couple gets annoyed by all this stuff and they realize that America is actually terrible and they jump out of the plane to go back to Russia, so... Absolutely amazing video, but today, I guess we're gonna be looking at content that more so is not meant to convince Russians not to leave Russia and that the West is, like, worse, but content that is actually made to humiliate and basically shit on the people who've already left. Like me, for example. So, I'm going into this video expecting a personal attack on myself. So, uh... Let's check it out. Классный прикид. Не знаешь, кто это? Они недавно квартиру сняли. Мужик крутой, в банке работает. Уезжаете куда? В Грузию, не совсем. It is a personal attack on me. What the fuck? I live in Georgia. <laughs> Insane. Insane. Okay. В Грузию, не совсем. Вот и этот побежал. <laughs> У нас на работе тоже несколько мальчиков уехало. Ой! Да, мальчики уехали, мужчины остались. You got me. Right in the fucking... Right in my asshole. So yeah, I've already seen this video. This is like one of those, once again, videos that are produced by essentially Kremlin-affiliated like media conglomerates and then they're spread all over like Russian social media, Telegram, YouTube, etc. In order to spread a message. This one in particular actually caused like a huge shitstorm in Russia because of how terrible it is. So let's actually dissect this video and see what the deep message is. First of all, this is not a regular uh, Soviet comic block. I don't know why these dudes right here discussing this guy being cool and like, you know, working at a bank and renting an apartment here. If apparently the point is, is that they live here themselves, you know? If they live here, they're also fucking rich then, right? But this just makes no sense. Like, the class division here makes no sense. This just shows that, like, Russian propaganda is very heavily still, you know, based on the Soviet propaganda of, you know, showing, like, the bourgeois as, like, you know, the fucking enemies of the uh, working class, you know? Except that we're capitalists now, and the bourgeois, instead of, you know, whatever, stealing our, our labor, are now, you know, going to Georgia. <laughs> 
But this doesn't make fucking sense. This is like a very nice fucking neighborhood. It's a very nice fucking apartment building. I don't fucking get it, man. Whoever comes up with us are fucking morons. <laughs> Bro, it annoys me so fucking much. This character represents like the type of people I hate the most. It's like these, you know, fucking like Russian 40 year old Karens that are shitting on people for not wanting to die. And they're like, oh, you're not a real man if you leave, you know? You gotta be man up and be a real man and go defend Russia. What the fuck are you talking about? So yeah, he gets in the car and uh, some grandma falls and uh. <laughs> These motherfuckers immediately take off. Like, let me just tell you, I'm Russian. I've lived in Russia my whole life. That would not happen. So yeah, the point here is that, you know, the rich, the rich bourgeois motherfucker that's going to Georgia, the traitor of Russia, this guy right here, he looks at the grandma like, huh, I'm above this. I don't want to fucking help her. Gets in the car and, uh... <laughs> This is so ass. I just don't really feel like they make these characters hateable enough, you know? This guy should have gotten in a car and like run over the old grandma or something at that point. Just to show how, you know, everybody who leaves Russia is a fucking terrible human being, you know? <laughs> and yeah, that's the main statement, you know, that everybody who left Russia, either after the start of the special operation or the mobilization, is not a real man, is a little boy with a little pee-pee. However, those who stay in Russia and are ready to go fight for the motherlands, now those people are real men. It's just hilarious because I don't feel like this proper works for anybody. The people who are Z already think of everybody who left as pussies and traitors, you know? This is not gonna convince anybody who's thinking about leaving to not leave, you know? Alright, now let's move on to another one that I wanna check out, which is actually uh, a music video. Yes, guys, I recently made a video about uh, Russian propaganda music. It was great, everybody loved it. Unfortunately, this video is not going to be by our beloved artist Shaman. <laughs> However, don't you fret, because this actually might be even worse. We're gonna look at a uh, song from a, a Russian comedy TV show on the channel Tente, performed by Olga Buzova, which is like a Russian pop singer. And overall, she's known in Russia to be sort of making like cringe music, which is exactly what we're gonna see right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's about me, I guess, you know, big muscles and tattoos. <laughs> oh my god, so bad. I like how the line is, you've become a victim of information and you are under the influence of sanctions. So basically saying that everybody who's leaving Russia is doing it because they've been, you know, disinformed by Western media or whatever. Because obviously Russia is in a great state, you know, everybody who thinks that, <laughs> everybody who thinks that, uh, you know, you need to leave Russia right now is an idiot, obviously. They don't know what they're talking about. Everything is uh, going according to And it says that you run away to a place where they have McDonald's, Ikea and PayPal. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Georgia doesn't have Ikea though, but uh, fair enough, you got two out of three right. Once again, guys, this is a- every single video that we're watching today is a personal attack on me. They're talking about Georgia again. And she's talking about how, uh, basically, I've uh, exchanged Buzova for Georgia. And, yeah, the idea of the song is that, like, Buzova and Gruzia, which is Georgian Russian, sorta sounds kinda similar, so... I mean, yes, this is a skit song, but, like, the message is there. The message is that, like, if you leave Russia, if you choose relocation in a tough situation, then you're a piece of shit, then you're, like, not a real man. How dare you want to have McDonald's, Ikea, and PayPal? You seen the Ikea logo? You seen the colors of that logo very not patriotic i start I, I, <laughs> no way i'm shopping for my furniture there <laughs> I'm 
I went to resign to see my grandfather through Tbilisi. Can you guys just leave me alone? Why, why do these videos keep personally attacking me? What the fuck, man? So yeah, this guy right here who's like a comedian from Russia, pretty well-known guy as well. He's basically playing the character of this like, you know, guy who ran away from mobilization or whatever, who's scared. Again, sort of making fun of the people who had to basically abandon their entire lives and uh, go to a new country where nobody is waiting for them, nobody is expecting them, and they have to go through a lot of shit because they don't agree with what their country is doing and they don't want to die in a fucking airstrike. Yeah, of course, let's make fun of those people. It's a very funny situation, isn't it? It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Worst song, worst song I've ever heard. I mean, <laughs> like I said, this artist, Olga Buzova, she's like, she's cringe and she's aware of it. And this is like a skit song. It's not a real song, but uh, I'll still call it fucking awful. Uh, it's just awful. The message is awful. And uh, it's a personal attack on me. So I don't really fuck with it personally. But yeah, this is what's going on now in Russia. You know, it's not only deputies of the state Duma saying, you know, great things about people who left Russia. It's not only governmental propaganda videos that I meant to convince people not to leave Russia or videos that are saying that, you know, every single person that's left is a terrible human being, but also it's shit like this. Even in comedy shows, they're pushing their agenda, you know, how every single person who left Russia is a just a coward. I don't know about you guys, but this song is really like, doesn't really do much for me because for me, it's not a big moral choice, really. I would very happily exchange Buzova for Georgia, okay? I would be stoked to betray Buzova for Georgia. I don't fucking like Buzova, but I love Georgia, so fuck you. Anyways, guys, yeah, what can I say? Uh, we checked out some more great Russian propaganda today. I can safely say now that I'm a uh, coward, a little bitch with a little with a, with a tiny pee, pee who left Russia and who doesn't care much about Gubuzova. That's just who I am, and I can't change myself. So, uh, and honestly, when I get despised by sellouts and people with no moral integrity or no moral compass or whatever, or any understanding of what is happening in the world right now, I feel pretty good, to be honest. It makes me feel better about my decisions and what I've done. Anyways, guys, yeah, this is gonna be pretty much it today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, then please make sure to slap the like on it. As well, guys, if you want to support my channel, if you want to support me additionally then go over to the link down in the description you can become a member of my youtube channel it's basically like youtube's own version of patreon except that it's better for me to get paid you can also do a super thanks on this video as well and yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and i will see you guys in the next one peace